Hi guys, today I am going to tell you how we can return multiple value from a function. And we normally know that uh, function are always returning a value and that value are single value. But it is also possible we can return multiple value from a function. And for this uh, we normally use a table type object. So what is table type object? A table type object are defined from a user defined collection or you can say that object type. So object type is uh, nothing but it is a kind of data type that can only use our standard uh, data types like number and virtual. So uh, first of all create the object and then table type object so to create the object and table type object the syntax is create type type name as object and within that we have to specify a standard standard data type so this is the uh, normal uh, syntax for to create to create uh, type object type okay so i have already uh, create a object and below is the here is the code create type employee type o this is the object name and these are nothing but the two parameter and both are virtual okay so let's uh, create the object okay. see the type is created and uh, you can see that I have uh, used the two parameter one is EMP and job so it is not mandatory to use the same name as uh, it is existing in the employee tables so but uh, so keep in mind uh, while you are you are using or creating the object it is not mandatory to keep the parameter name as same as the existing table field name but you must uh, uh, keep the data type of that parameter same as with the uh, existing table field name right so then come to uh, table type object so from this object or collection object we can create a table type okay so to create a table type uh, object mm, the syntax is same we can same we can uh, create the table type object in the same way create type emp type t here is the table type object each table of emp type See the emp type underscore o this is the collection type object from this we are going to create a table type object okay so you can see that the table type object is created so this is nothing but the table type object uh, using this table object uh, we are going to fetch multiple value from a function okay so then let's create a function Okay, that will return multiple value you can see that I have already uh, created a function you can see that okay so uh, see the uh, create function uh, syntax is normal as we are uh, normally using create function function name return as uh, variable then it's uh, begin block then return that much so here the function name is get emp list okay i am uh, passing a parameter that is id okay and see the return type is here the emp type t which is the table object 
product and we have already created for the for an collection type object that is emp type o okay so uh, then uh, we are creating a variable for that table object here then we are defining the select statement that is select emp name o parameter e name job ball collect into b name from employee see the select statement is using a ball collect okay so what is ball collect actually ball collect is nothing but uh, a collection of uh, bulk or mass data means when we are going to fetch mass or bulk data at that moment we are using ball collect in the select statement and it is specially used to reduce the context switch okay we'll talk more on context switch uh, later let's concentrate this select statement so here is the object type and it is taking two parameter as we have already defined that so what will happen in this select statement the object will return a employee e name and job for the department number particular department number and it will going to fetch in that uh, v e name variable then that v e name variable will return from that function got it so come to the context switch context switch what is context switch so uh, well when the plsql runtime engine processes a block of code it executes its procedure statement in its plsql engine and passes the sql statement to sql engine so that means if number of sql statements are there then each time the engine the plsql engine passes the sql engine to the sql statement to sql engine okay. so there is a rotation from plsql engine to sql engine so the transfer of control between the plsql engine and sql engine is called context switch and the number of context switch increases in plsql block of code the execution will be less okay that means if we can reduce the context switch then the execution will be faster okay this is the concept of context switch okay uh, let's create the uh, function see the function is uh, created now how can we uh, use this function to uh, return multiple value for this we are going to use a table type uh, function no not table type it is a table function that is uh, uh, inbuilt function in oracle so and it will be uh, used in the select segment let's uh, select start from table this is the function and it will take the uh, take the function uh, our function as parameter that is uh, get emp list. okay so we have to uh, give some parameter to our function let's say 20 so what will happen see the get employee list is our function that we have created and it will take it is taking the 20 as parameter that means uh, it will fetch for the department number 20 and it will only fetch the employee e name and job for the department number 20 okay so if we will run this query then it will fetch for department number 20 employee details details means only e name and job you can see that there are only five records department number 20 
you can also check for other value like uh, for 10 or 30 select start from table or um, function so let's use the 30 as parameter okay see see there are uh, six records and all are different because this is for uh, department number 20 and this is for department number 30 so in this way we can uh, use um, multiple in this way we can find out how to return multiple value from a function okay and uh, that is all about this session and uh, this is my uh, contact details uh, you can uh, email me or skype me if you have any query for the same thanks